हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज आयुषा बारिक अ सोफोमोर स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग एन आई टी राउकला माई टॉपिक इज लेवलिंग बाई हाइट ऑफ इंस्ट्रूमेंट मेथड एंड आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द थर्ड चैप्टर ऑफ द बुक सर्वेइंग प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग बाई डॉक्टर ए एम चंद्रा दिस असाइनमेंट हैज बिन डन अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ प्रोफेसर महेंद्र गट्टू सो ही इज द क्वेश्चन द फॉलोइंग रीडिंग्स were taken with a level and 4 meter staff draw a level book page and reduce the levels by the height of instrument method the following are the readings given starting with 0.578 with a benchmark of 58.250 meter two change points has been given before proceeding with the question let's understand some of the important concepts so first starting with leveling leveling is a process used in surveying to establish the elevation of a point relative to a datum or to determine the height of one level relative to another station a station is the point where the leveling staff is held height of instrument or the height of collimation for any setup of the level the elevation of the line of sight is the height of instrument back sight it is the first reading taken on the staff after setting up the level usually to determine the height of instrument it is usually made to some form of a benchmark or to a points where elevations have already been determined foresight it is the last reading from an instrument position on to a staff held at a point it is thus the last reading taken with a section of levels before shifting the instrument to the next section and also the last reading taken over the whole series of levels change point a change point or turning point is the point where both the foresight and backsight are made on a staff held at that point a change point is required before moving the level from one section to another section by taking the foresight the elevation of the change point is determined and by taking the backsight the height of instrument is determined here is a picture showing the foresight backsight change point benchmark and the height of instrument intermediate site the term intermediate site covers all sightings and consequent staff readings made between the back site and the fore site within each section thus intermediate site station is neither the change point nor the last point balancing of sites when the distances of the stations where back site and the fore site are taken from the instrument station are kept approximately equal it is known as balancing of sites balancing of sites minimizes the effect of instrumental and other errors reduce level reduce level of a point or is its height or depth above or below the assumed datum it is the elevation of the point let's discuss about the height of instrument or the height of collimation method in reducing the levels for various points by the height of instrument method the height of instrument for the each section is determined by adding the elevation of the point to the back sight reading taken at that point the height of re uh, instrument remains unchanged for all the staff readings taken within that section and therefore the levels of all the points lying in that section are reduced by subtracting the corresponding staff readings that is intermediate sight or fore sight from the height of instrument of that section the arithmetic equations used in this method are sigma back sight minus sigma fore sight is equals to last reduced level minus first reduced level and sigma height of instrument into number of intermediate sites plus 1 minus sigma intermediate site minus sigma fore sight is equals to sigma reduced level minus first reduced level coming back to the question the given observations include 0.578 as the starting point with a benchmark of 58.250 meter there are two change points at the 5th and the 8th reading coming to the solution the first reading being on a benchmark is the back sight and as the 5th station is a change point the reading 2.005 is the fore sight reading and the reading 0.567 is the back sight reading all the readings between the first and the 5th readings are the intermediate sight readings similarly the 8th station being a change point the reading 3.679 is the fore sight reading 0.612 is the back sight reading and 1.888 
and 1.181 are the intermediate sight readings. The last reading 1.810 is the foresight and 0 0.705 is intermediate sight readings. Then all the readings have been entered in the respective columns in the following table. For section 1, the height of instrument is given by the elevation plus the back sight one. That is 58.250 plus 0 0.578 that is 58.828 meter. Now for calculating H2, we will subtract intermediate sight from the height of instrument. That is given by H1. 1 h1 hi1 minus is2 that is 57.895 meter similarly h3 and h4 are calculated by subtracting the intermediate side from the height of instrument now for calculating h5 we'll subtract the four side 5 from the height of instrument since 5 fifth is the change point so height of instrument 1 minus four side 5 is equals to 56.823 meter now proceeding to section 2. The height of instrument 5 is calculated by adding H5 plus backside 5 that is 57.390 meter. Now H6 and H7 are calculated by subtracting the intermediate side from the height of instrument. Now for calculating H8 we will subtract the foresight from the height of instrument that is equals to 53.711 meter. Proceeding to section 3, for calculating the height of instrument, we'll add the elevation plus the backside. So H8 plus backside 8 that is equals to 54.323 meter. For calculating H9, we'll subtract the intermediate side from the height of instrument that is equals to 53.618 meter. And for calculating the H10, will subtract the foresight 10 from height of instrument 8 that is given by 52.513 meter. Applying the additional check for the height of instrument method, sigma hi into the number of intermediate sites plus 1 minus sigma intermediate site minus sigma foresight is equals to sigma reduced level minus the first reduced level. Equating the left hand side and right hand side equations will get 499.709. Here is the table for the height of instrument method. Here back sight, intermediate sight, poor sight, height of instrument, reduce level and the change points are given. The first point is the benchmark with 58.250 meter. The fifth point and the eight points are the change points. On the basis of the table, sigma back sight, sigma intermediate side, sigma foresight and the sigma reduced level are calculated. So from the table we can observe that sigma back side minus sigma uh, foresight is equals to sigma in, uh, reduced level minus the first reduced level that is equals to minus 5.737. This proves that the method is correct. Thank you.